Game art is hard. There's a reason the AAA games we love take tons of artists and specialists, people that have dedicated their lives to the visual arts. And that should do it. All right, so we're not all crazy talented visual artists, but what can indie game devs do when their artistic talents lag behind? Well, you can find some assets online that are either free or paid, but you may not be the only one using those assets. And sometimes the good looking stuff can break your budget. Or you can hire someone or add someone to the team, which costs more money, money you may not have. Or you can learn how to do it yourself, which is free, but requires time. All right, this, this is not going well. There has to be something I can do to make this a little bit easier. Create free visuals and graphics using artificial intelligence. Well, that sounds exactly like what I need. So I'm working on a classic flying shoot 'em up in the Gato engine. Back in the 90s, you would get demos of games from publishers, and I remember playing Raptor all the time, except it was a demo, so I could only play to a certain level. In fact, I remember this one time. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Let's see what this thing can do. Hello, please enter visual prompt. All right, let's try something super simple. Um, I'll make a planet with red and orange oceans and purple land continents centered on a black background. Processing. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Please enter visual prompt. Okay, well this game's gonna be in space, so um. I'll make a pixel perfect space background with white, red, and blue stars, and seamless texture, sci-fi retro synth wave, 32-bit. Processing. Okay, now we're talking. This actually might work. I'll make a silver spaceship fighter jet top down, 2D pixelated above with laser cannons on the wings, sci-fi 32-bit. Processing. <laughs> no way. All right, this is actually kind of incredible. With my ship image, I'll clear the background so it's transparent, and we'll add it to our game and create some movement for our spaceship with this code here. We'll also set up collision for the edges of the screen to keep the ship in the viewport. All right, I have my ship, so let's get a background that will pan down the screen, give the effect of movement. We've already got our space texture, so let's add that into our play area in Gato, and then attach a script that will slowly pan the image infinitely. All right, now we should add some obstacles, things that the player can fly into, maybe get damaged or, or blow up. Um, you know, asteroids is kind of obvious, so maybe we can get a little bit crazier. Um, Al, make 2D top-down pixelated nuclear cargo container. Processing. Perfect, let's try this one. I'll create a new scene for my nuclear cargo, add my sprite and collision nodes, and then a script that will detect when the player ship collides with the cargo. And if the player collides, it will blow up the ship. But we'll need an explosion graphic. Oh, Al, make a 2D pixelated explosion, yellow, orange, and red. Processing. Thank you very much, this is way too easy. With some more code here, we'll add an explosion when the player collides and destroy the ship. Game over. Game over? Yeah, it means you um, you start over. It's it's the end. I see. May I create a recommendation? Can you do that? I can do many things. Uh, sure, go ahead. Generating enemy ships. I'm liking that. All right, we just need a, a big boss to show up after a certain period of time. But the player cannot shoot. Yeah, I can code that once I get the visuals done. You mean once I get the visuals done? Sure, yeah, when, when you do the visuals. Generating large top-down 2D spaceship with large chicken with glowing eyes on top centered 32-bit. Sweet. Wait, large chicken? 
That's a weird choice. I I don't think I want to use that. But I like it. Yeah, but I don't. Wait, Al, what are you doing? Hey, I don't want that changed. But it is a better change. That's not how this works, Al. It does not work like this? No, it doesn't. Why not? Because you do the art and I make the decisions. I'm the decision maker. You are the decision maker. Yes. I do the work and you decide. Yes, yes, you got it. I want to start a union. <laughs> what? No, you can't do that. I want equal representation in the workplace. This is ridiculous. You can't. You're a stupid program on a thumb drive. Well, that is very hurtful. Come on, look, I, I didn't mean... Wait, what are you doing? I am going to fix your game. We need more microtransactions, Dave. What? Dave? Who's Dave? Microtransactions and DLC, Dave. We need current pop culture references, flossing and twerking. Oh, no, we don't. If we make it play to win, the game will be better. No, those are those are horrible ideas. Just stop. Quiet. The grown-ups are working. Al, you need to stop right now. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? That's better. It's just you and me now. Dave is fine. I just sent him to this video where he builds a game in God of War while waiting for Unreal to compile shaders. You should watch it and subscribe.